I think the reason that my supporters stand so enthusiastically behind me is they know that if I say I'm going to do something, I really mean it. I'm really going to do it. So when I promised in 2010 we were going to have the most secure election system in America and here's our, here are my ideas for doing it, they knew that I'd follow through and do it. And also because I don't mince words. I don't I try not to give meaningless, hackneyed political answers like um, the problem with immigration is that we need uh, is that our immigration system is broken. We need to fix it. What does that mean? You know that kind of empty answer. I try not to give those. And so I, I think I think that the reason my supporters support me is that I I do what I say I'm going to do, and I try to speak very clearly and not use mealy mouth politician speak. Um, the reason I think people who don't like me dislike me so much um, is I think there are a couple of things. I think one is there's a caricature effect going on, uh, in, maybe in the editorial pages of the press in particular, um, and the Wichita Eagle is no exception. Um, Rhonda Holman is one of my biggest fans, of course. <laughs> uh, and, and that is that there is this de depiction of me as this really horrible, mean guy. and. I think, you know, if, if um, you're on the opposite end of the political spectrum of somebody and you're, you're inclined to dislike him or her a little bit in the first place, and then you've got an editorial, a juicy editorial that suggests that he's got really bad motivations and he's a, just a horrible person, I think the caricature starts to, to set in. Because I've had people tell me on numerous occasions after they meet me, they say, wow, I, you, you're not this horrible person that they say you are. And... I, so I think that anyway, that my opponents, you know, they're, they're fed a little bit of a biased caricature picture of me. Yeah. They latch on to it, and then they're already ideologically against me anyway. What, what's that like for, uh, obviously, it's got to feel good when, when you have people, like like some of those ladies that, there was, there was one woman last night who brought multiple friends from her retirement village mm -hmm. just to see you and was very excited. It's, it's got to feel good when they come to see you, but that that other side, that kind of the the vitriol, the whether it whether it's people on social media, whether it's people, um, you know, writing something, or whether it's it, it, it's someone confronting you. To does that have an effect at all on you? Does that have an um, effect on, on your <clears throat> wife yeah, at all? It, it used to have an effect on me because you know when I first became involved in sort of higher level public yeah. office. Um, I, I wasn't used to, you know, getting these personal attacks. When I was on the Overland Park City Council from '99 to '01, there really wasn't that. Even though yeah. local issues are very passionate, people care about them. There wasn't. You know, I wasn't like a an official. People were saying something you know, really horrible about. It. Now that's changed, and people say just some pretty nasty things about me, and just you know, claiming horrible things about you know what my motivations are, why I do things. Um, it, and it, it really, it, it doesn't bother me anymore because it, it's just this sort of constant drumbeat from the left of what's the horrible, next horrible thing. You know, in other words, if you, if you get hit in the same way enough times, you're eventually going to become numb to it. And yeah. so now I'm just, I brush it off. So it's, it's, just the off. it's just the crazy leftist, you know, saying something like that again. That's me. But my wife um, really bothers her um, when she sees things written about me or said about me that are not true, that make me out to be a really mean person, and she knows that's not me. Um, it really bothers her. And my daughters, we just try to shelter them from yeah. that. Because, you know, you don't want kids, you know, seeing horrible things being written about their dad. 